Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Dicey Dungeons. So, last time it was we went back and we tried the warrior. This time let's go and play the rogue, right? The rogue is just slightly different. And just to show you guys some more things, let's actually do finders keepers. So, let's fight the hothead here <clears throat> as our first battle. Dagger is pretty nice, so is lockpick. So, what we can do is split this dice into two, which will be a three and a one or a two and two here. 2 and 2, that works, so we can deal 2 or, or 7 damage to him, and just end that there. Um, Fireball isn't really that great in my opinion, so not really that concerned there. Let's take this 2 damage, hopefully we get 3 and 3. Yeah, we get 3 and 3 and we win here. Alright, perfect. <clears throat> Let's move on to see what our treasure chest is, right? We get bump, plus 1, plus one dice early, which is nice. Um... So what equipment do you have? Ray gun, I don't like that because that's just a worse version of dagger. Split these dice in two. Oh, uh, this isn't great. Let's split this dice in two. And we can bump this one value. Um, we can do four damage and then we can run finders keepers here. And maybe, <clears throat> maybe we'll want to use ray gun. Oh, ray gun is just a lot of damage actually. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Limit break is reuses the next equipment. So let's do that. Uh, let's do this. We can do this again. Now we can split this into two. Two, four. So that means that four needs to go in here. And two, four, five. Hopefully we don't die here. It is very possible. Okay. We take. We actually do die here. No, no. We're too, too, too off. Okay. That is close. I, um, you can also split a 1 to 2 to get two ones, so that's nice, but we can reuse something here, probably shouldn't have done that, because we could keep that for something else, alright, so that's close, but we got there, extra dice is nice, leveled up, full health, next floor, let's go for the wizard first, because that opens us up to a lot more options, uh, the wizard has some really nice spells there, which I kind of do want, but we'll, what we can do here is get an extra dice. We can split this in two. Oh, whoops. That is not what I meant to do. I guess we're going this way then. Alright. We're going to keep some equipment after battle is what I'm going for. Four poison. Poison's not great because it's going to damage me at the start of my turn. Wow, that is not what I wanted. I split that in two. Um, bump you. You have to go in there. You go in there. And yeah, another three. So that's six poison. That is, that's seven poison. That is not great. We need to deal more damage here. Uh, Alright, let's split this in two. And now we can reuse this to get two extra damage out. Three, four. All right. And a four, which deals five and shocks two equipment. That is terrible, actually. Because now we. Oh man. That is really bad. Uh, pick, lock pick. If fours are useless here, and it looks like <clears throat> we're one damage off. So, oh, oh, so we actually just barely win this because he gets an extra dice, but that's not enough for him to kill me. And <clears throat> we live on one health. Gosh dang, that is way too close. So I like the thunder spell. All right, we need to grab the health. We need to grab the other health. Let's see the shot. Um, uh, let's grab the bandage, and let's fight the dryad. The dryad uses a lot of poison, so we can split. No, we can split this dice in two, <clears throat> and then we can have you go there. We heal up two health. And actually, let's heal up three health because we gosh, we definitely need the health. Okay, that's not great. Okay, okay. So now we need to. Okay, we need to reuse um something. Let's try to split the six and a half first. If we get a we get a four, that's what we needed. Okay. And we can split 
the five and a half again? No. Yeah, we can split the five and a half again. For a three and a two, that's not bad. Definitely want to put the four in there. And now we are going to take some poison damage, most likely. But that's not going to be avoidable. Um, so, the one, I want that one health. Three goes in there. And let's just grab another health and deal two damage. Both of them are shocked, but he just deals another six damage to us. Let's see what he deals for. Okay, he deals another six and heals two. That's not great. <clears throat> um, we definitely need to shock him right now. That needs to happen. Split this dice in two. Deal three damage and let's heal for two. That way, if he... Oh my gosh, he's still... He's rolled a six every time and now we're dead. It, I still find this to be one of the harder stages. All right. So here, right, we could we have the option of splitting a dice in two. If you split a one in half, right, you get two dice out of it. So that's what we're gonna do here to start off, and hopefully not take too much damage in return. I don't like any of these items here, so it's okay for me not to take anything. Shield, so blocks incoming damage. Um, the five's not useful, and in the turn stage, one and four is not great. So four can go in there. We can use our dagger twice. Not doing anything though. Six and four. Dang, that is a lot of damage coming in from just the first guy. Five and five. We need to split this slot, split this in half. And there we go. Alright. That was a lot more damage than I would have liked. And P shooter deals two damage reusable. That is not bad at all. Let's see. Uh four and four. That is absolutely terrible. Um worst ones you could have gotten today. We need to split that in half, split that in half, and now we can get, we can deal 8 damage. Alright, 8 damage, double force probably was the worst thing we could go grab there. Simply because with double force, we couldn't even use our pea shooter. What, I was weak? Which one is weak? None of them, okay. So, this actually just deals it twice, and we can kill them off that way. Alright, not bad at all. And extra dice is always nice. Next floor. Um, let's kill Sneezy because we get two apples that if we need to use to heal, we can later. To grab Sneeze. Um, before we do that, we can just split that in two. Put you there and then just grab some of that. And end our turn. Hopefully he doesn't deal too much damage to us. Okay. He's only able to deal three. That is alright. Alright, and now we have, we're able to reuse some of our abilities. Let's reuse this so we can split dice in two, split that in two again. So now we can grab items from him next time, and we can deal three damage right now. And not have to worry about it too much. That is another three damage to us, which I will be okay with. And five, six, okay. Uh, we can split this dice in two. 3 and 3, perfect. So 5 goes in there, 3, 2, and 3 go in there. And we're down to 6. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of damage there. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 12 damage. Ouch. Ouch. That really hurts there. But we do not need to limit break <clears throat> to kill him. Alright. And let's grab his sneeze. Uh, let's grab both the health there. And let's go to Stereo Head. Yeah, not much to do here. So we can just split the dice in half here. And so we just go two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> and max four. So he can only deal up to eight damage to me every turn, which is still a decent amount after everything's considered. Uh, we don't need to do sneeze. Uh, definitely not necessary right now. But splitting a dice in two here would be nice. And we can do this, put you in there, and then that is a total of some number of damage. Six, so one damage, I will take it. Not bad at all. Another six. P shooter, it looks to be the thing that we have to use. Hopefully we get a two in here. 
Let's see what we can get. More threes. Um, let's grab our hook and then we can go something like this and like that. And that should be alright. We take another three damage, not what I would like. But let's split the six and a half, four and two. Uh, we can do four, four, one, and two, and two. So we need to deal six more damage. Four damage to us, that's not ha not happy with that right now. And two weak. <clears throat> uh, wow, that is... Well, we, we definitely kill him here, but that is taking us way too much damage here. Oh, but we level up, so that's fine. Choose a reward, we can either grab pin needle or we could crowbar um i like crowbar because with crowbar now we can just get rid of our we can just get rid of basically the sneeze right let's let's split the size and two see what we can get a five and a one so let's just put the five in there and now we can just put all our damage into that three three six three three two so not great, but we do survive, which is what matters right now. Uh, 533. Limit break is available. So, let's see. We can crowbar, and then we can do like that to do more damage. We don't really need... Oh, okay, that is not happy. That is 6 damage incoming, and next turn is going to be a lot of damage. We need to find some way of getting good damage here. Uh, let's split our six, see what we get from that, double threes is not terrible, but I would rather, hmm, actually we do not, so with double, we want that, now we can go there, there, and there, and our turn, and we should grab uh, the poison slingshot, because the poison slingshot will allow us to just continuously use poison uh, with our crowbar and six damage max. Uh, let's let's hook, split the four, split the four again to guarantee that we have enough damage. And there we go, perfect. And counterfeit's not great. We can grab snake eye charm, right? Snake eye charm's not bad for us at all. Or healing crystal. I like Snake Charm because it synergizes with everything that we're doing with um, the rolls. So let's put that and that. It really synergizes with crowbar. And okay, so we need to heal. Let's heal again. Pirate and Yeti, and then we can upgrade twice. All right, pirate, crowbar, right? Because to just reduce everything. Now we can split the one in half. And to deal one extra damage, and we can go like a that. The pirate has a cannon fire, which is interesting, but I don't know if that's something we want to steal just yet. So let's take that damage. We, let's split the four and half, see what we can get. So if we put a five in here, right? Uh, then we can put a one in here to go there, and now we can deal our damage this way. Now we're down to 3 health, and that is a lot of damage. Well, actually it's just 6 damage, so it's not terrible. Um, and reducing all the cooldowns by 6 should kill him right here. No? But daggering him by 1 will. Alright. Let's see. Mm, I think... Let's grab the cannon fire. To level up and then hopefully we'll be set weak to fire and not much else all right let's yeah let's hook crowbar in here that way we get more more of these and now actually let's definitely split our ones and two and put a three in here and we can do two, one, one, one. All right. So don't, we need to take not too much damage. Needs one's odds and that's six damage freezing dumb. That's not great at all. 
All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's put this Dyson two. Uh. Let's put one pro bar, one there, and then just put the rest there. Hopefully he doesn't come up killing us. Uh. Five and one. So that's five six damage. Freezing two dice. Not great at all because we only have three dice. And our top two are frozen. All right. Uh, we have to use our limit break here, and I don't see any way of winning this. Let's put this dice in two. Put it through there. Um, we can split this one in half, and we can technically do that, but that just gives us the same thing as we had before. We just need to hope he doesn't isn't able to kill us. What she's able to with the fire. Hey guys, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dicey Dungeons. While we never really completed floor, it's just some of the things that happen when you play this game. You get bad luck, or you're just bad at the game, and you just lose, right? So thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you liked. It, leave us a comment if you want something changed. And I'll see you guys next time.